My name is Chaz Garcia and I'm the 2023-2024 Parsons Mountain Cavalry Company Commander. We are part of the Corps of Cadets at a and and at its core, Texas A&M Corps of Cadets is a leadership organization and there is no better special unit that you can do that. Here, yes, you have an opportunity to become a great horseman or horsewoman and that is a huge part of what we do. But it is also a great opportunity for you to have responsibility, not just in an organization, but also in yourself. Being a Cav Jock is a huge commitment. Um, I've said it a lot of times, that yellow core that we wear, it's not an award, uh, it's an obligation, it's a responsibility. It's a coveted mantle that many people get to wear, but it is not taken lightly. There is an excellence and an intentional leadership that comes when you're being a Cav Jock, even if you're not in a position. Being a fully cadet-led organization means that everything you see here at the Green is taken care of and created by Cav Jocks. They're the ones that make this thing tick. I think for me, uh, my favorite thing when I come to the green is honestly when I'm catching my horse. It's that purest form of building that relationship. Without having that good, healthy relationship and developing that, you cannot become a better horseman. So being able to kind of set everything aside and think, all right, it's just me and the horse. And that's what we're working on today. I grew up riding horses um, just from a ranching mentality. Um, that compared to going down the streets of Texas A&M with hundreds of thousands of people. It was, it's a little nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's this super surreal feeling. One of the biggest things I have is pride. The section team here with our cannon and our mule guys, they put in so much extra work that nobody sees. Um, and yes, it's awesome. They get to shoot the cannon on game days and it's really cool. And watching Sam Nix drop that saber is like one of the highlights of my moments. And I'm always so proud of him. Um, but what I think about every time I see that is the hours and hours he spent cleaning these cannons and the hours and hours they spend in, out in the pasture training and working hard. And it's really cool to see that culmination come together and see all those guys do what they love. Yes, we're learning the technical aspects of riding, but also at the end of the day, we're building leaders here and that's what truly matters. To me, Aggieland's incredible, but Fiddler's Green is heaven. I mean, there is no other place like it. There's no other place I can walk in these doors and see 85 cab jocks looking around and saying, what can I do to better myself today? What can I do to be a better me?